Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you a beginner-friendly way that you can create a one product store in Shopify. I'm gonna cover how you can lay out your website and how you can list your product. And I'll also get into how to add variant options and how to customize your product description. If you're looking for an in-depth tutorial on how to drop ship using Shopify and AliExpress, I do have a video on my channel. I will link that in my description box below. The website I'll be showing you how to make is adaptable for many types of products. So you can follow this tutorial, whether you're selling in the technology, beauty, or clothing niche. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, to get started, you're gonna open Shopify and here you'll see some of Shopify's free website themes. I'll be installing the refresh theme. I'm gonna publish this website. Then you're gonna click customize. All right, and this is gonna be the base layout and I'll be showing you how to turn this into a sales page. I'm gonna start by showing you how to lay out your website. Then I'm gonna break down each step towards adding your product and then customizing the website and adding your product photos. To start, I'm gonna be changing the background colors. You're gonna click theme settings, then colors. I'm gonna add a new color scheme. And here I'm just gonna set the background to white, the text to black, the solid button to black. Then I'm gonna set the solid button label to white and I'm gonna set the outline button to black. Then I'm just gonna go through each section of the website and I'm gonna be applying that new color scheme. I'm gonna click on this header bar and under desktop local position, I'm gonna set this to middle center. And then to minimize this menu, under desktop menu type, I'm gonna set this to drawer. I'm gonna click on this announcement bar and here, this is where you can write an announcement on your store. For an example, you can write a shipping announcement or you can announce any new sale or discount that you're running. For a simpler look, I'll be removing the announcement bar. I'm gonna click theme settings, then logo. Here, this is where you can upload your logo and your favicon image. This way, when customers click on this menu, this is where they can view your main menu. When customers click catalog, it's gonna take them to the shop all page. And when they click contact, this will take them to your contact form. I'm gonna set this contact form to that new color scheme. Then I'm just gonna hide the intro text. Under template, you're gonna click add section. I'm gonna insert a rich text section. And I'm also gonna set this to the new color scheme and I'll just be titling this, contact us. And then I'm gonna drag it above the contact form. This way it's gonna give the page a cohesive look. There's also a default email signup. I'm gonna remove this section. I'm gonna click on this slide and I'm just gonna remove this. And I'm also gonna remove this featured collection. Under template, I'm gonna click add section and here I'm gonna import a featured product. I'm also gonna set this to the new color scheme. Next, I'm gonna insert a mini sales banner. To do this, I'm gonna import an image banner. When you click on this header under sticky header, you can adjust the animations and you can also remove the animation from the header. Next, you can insert a mini about us or brand description section. I'm gonna do this by importing a rich text. And then I'm also going to be importing an email signup right below that. This is optional. I'm gonna set this to a light pink background. The last section is optional, but if you're promoting your product on social media, like Instagram or TikTok, you can choose to feature your social media. I'm gonna import a multi-column. I'm gonna set this to one of those new color schemes. Then you can go ahead and customize this section further to represent whichever social media you're featuring. When you click on a column under link label, I'm gonna have the link label say watch the video. And here under link is where you can paste the link leading straight to that video or that post that you're promoting. And here under image this is where you can upload the post that you'll be featuring. And for example, if you're promoting a video post, you can upload the cover of the video or a screenshot of the video. And for the last column, I'm gonna title this follow us on TikTok. And again, under link, this is where you can paste the link leading straight to your TikTok account. I'll be adding the video covers later on. Then when you click on the footer, you can choose to show the email signup. And you also have a few other editing options for the footer bar. And once you're finished, this is gonna be your laid out sales page website. Next, I'll be breaking down how to customize this website into this. This sales page website has some essential sections that you'll need to help sell your product. And it has a beginner friendly layout that you can play around with. Here's also an example of a more advanced sales page website I designed. For a few tips of how you can make a more professional style website, you can include a quality section. This section will just break down what your store offers. Another section you can include are some sales banners. And also if you'd like, you can include an FAQs section. By the way, if you are interested in this website I've designed, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I've put together this pre-made Shopify theme template in a downloadable format. This is perfect for if you're looking to save time from designing your website from scratch. And for if you want your website to have that professional style and layout. This Shopify theme template is customizable, so you'll be able 
able to change colors, fonts, text, and add your own pictures. Here's an example of how you can customize this Shopify theme to fit, for an example, a cookware business. I have many different Shopify theme templates for many types of businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup products, and I also have some for drop shipping and home decor businesses. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that theme file into your store. You'll have many different editing options to change the colors, the text, and to add your pictures and products. And again, I have many different types for many different businesses. I'll link those in my description box below. I'm going to go ahead and click on this rich text, and this is where you can insert your brand description. I use ChatGPT to generate this text. You can leave the button link in. I'm going to be removing this. Then you can customize any other text sections further. Next, I'll be showing you how to add a product to your website and how to customize the rest of these sections and add your pictures. Here on Shopify, you're going to click products, then click add product. Here's where you can type in the title and the description. I'm going to be using ChatGPT to help me generate the product description. Throughout the product description, you'll have the option to insert pictures and you can also change and edit the sizing of the text. And you can insert links leading to other pages within your website and leading to other websites. You'll also have the option to select some of the text and you can reposition the alignment. Under media, this is where you can upload any pictures and videos that you have of the product. And you also have the option to rearrange any of these pictures. You can select the category of your product. Then you can insert your pricing, your compare app price, and also your cost per item. This will help you to determine your profit and margin. Next, you can insert the weight of the item. And here under variance is where you can add your sizing and color options. Once you're done, I'm going to click done. And here under available is where you can type in how much inventory you have for each variant. And you can also upload pictures to represent each one of these variants. This way, when customers select that color, the picture will show up so they can confirm which one they've selected. When you upload those variant pictures, I'd recommend just uploading a brand new picture. So instead of using this existing picture of the white makeup box, I'm going to upload a brand new one. Then once you're finished, you want to make sure the status of your product is set to active. This way, it will show in your online store. Then you can type in your product type. You can list the vendor of the product or you can list yourself as the vendor. I'm going to save this product. Then when you open your website, you're going to click on this featured product. And this is where you can select that brand new product. Here, this is where customers can select their variants. Then when they click view full details, this is where they can scroll through each of your listed photos. And this is where they can see the product description. For this product information box, I'm going to set this to a color scheme that matches the rest of the website. Next, I'm going to click on the image banner, and this is where you can insert either one or two images to show that product. So I'm going to be uploading a first image, then I'm going to upload a second image to appear right next to that. Under image overlay opacity, you can make the image darker. Then under banner height, you can make this larger or smaller depending on how large you want this section to be. Then when you click on the text, this is where you can insert your sales text to help sell the product. And once you're done, here's how the website appears so far. And here's how the mobile version appears. Next, I'm going to scroll down. And here I'll be adding those video covers to this featured TikTok section. When you click on this multi-column section, here under image width, this is where you can adjust the size of the display of the pictures. You also have a few other editing options. You can change the image ratio. You also have the option to increase or reduce the amount of columns on desktop. I'm going to set this to two columns on desktop, which will show that third one right down here. This is how the mobile version of this section is going to appear. If you'd like, you can enable the swipe on mobile. This way customers can swipe through each of your featured posts. Once you're finished, next I'll be showing you how you can customize your main menu and your footer menu of your website. To customize your navigation bar, you're going to click online store, then navigation. I'm going to click on this main menu, and this is where you can edit or delete your current menu links, and you can add new menu items. For an example, you can add links to your collections page or to individual collections, and you can also insert a link to that product that you're selling. And you also have the option to insert other links. For an example, you can insert a link to your search bar. You can insert links to other pages within your store and your blogs, and you can insert links to your policy pages. Then when you open your website, this is where those changes will have applied to your main menu. Then you can do the same thing with your footer menu. 
So here I'm going to insert a link to the homepage of the website. I'm going to insert a link to that product. And then you can insert any other links that you would prefer. And I definitely recommend adding a link to your contact page. Then when you open your Shopify theme, right here under footer, I'm going to click add block. And this is where you can insert that new menu block. And you'll want to make sure that this is linked to your footer menu that you just added. You also have the option to add other blocks to this section. I'm going to add an image block. And here, this is where you can upload your logo image. Another thing I'm going to do is here I'm going to click home page and I'm going to open the cart page. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to one of those new color schemes so that it ties into the website. All right, and once you're finished, here's going to be your finished beginner friendly sales page website to help promote your one product store. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time and give your website that professional touch. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And I have many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.